Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Myself, Dr. Memuna, a self physiotherapist and today I'm going to deliver a lecture on the subjects of medical physics and the chapter we started was regarding sound waves. So today we are going to study the beads, resonance and its characteristics. What are the beads and how they are formed? Beads are formed due to periodic variation of intensity of sound waves. When two sound waves of equal or nearly equal frequencies traveling in the same direction. So uh, the thing is like when two waves having same frequency or nearly same frequency are traveling in the same direction in the same medium, it would be forming a kind of the sound that would be known as beads and these are formed in the periodic variation of intensity. There are some characteristics which are being produced from the beads and they are very really less you guys have to remember all of them and it is really easy for you to remember all of them. Beards is a phenomena associated with the sound waves through the effects applies to all the waves and in case of beat, phase difference between two waves at a point changes with time. And the next point to remember is intensity of sound waves changes with time travel. Uh, we are all clear with that when the sound is traveling in mean time, its intensity is also changing with time and the frequency of the resultant wave if we want to identify the resultant wave frequency it would be identical to any of the wave which is producing the beat so the two waves which were going in the same direction and having one frequency the resultant frequency would be same like that frequency and beat frequency is being measured from the rise and fall of the loudness or the volume now uh, another thing to remember about beats is the number of beats produced per one second is defined as reciprocal of the difference in frequencies of two waves which produce waxing and waning. So uh, this is assignment for you today that you are going to give the definition for number of beats produced per one second. What is that? You have to explain in the comments what is meant by that thing and you guys will explain this thing. Um, and the next thing which we are going to study is and the next topic we are going to study is resonance and tone. What is resonance? In physics, you have studied about the resonance and I am going to re-explain the process of resonance today. Resonance describes the phenomena of increased amplitude that occurs when the frequency of periodically applied force is equal or close to a natural frequency of the system. For example, this is an open room and nothing is placed in this system, in this room. When I am speaking, my voice is having a louder amplitude. Why is it happening? This is happening because of resonance. When the applied force was having the frequency of an applied force was equal or close to the natural frequency of the system, the natural frequency of the room. So it increased its amplitude. When an oscillating force is applied at the resonant frequency of the dynamical system, the system will oscillate at a higher amplitude than when the same force is applied at the other and non-resonant frequency. Now the next topic is, and the last topic is about the tone. What is tone? In tone, you, we have to study the pitch. Pitch is related to highness and lowness of the tone. And it depends upon the frequency of the vibration. How it is dependent upon frequency of the vibration? Greater is the frequency, highness of the pitch would occur. And an object free to vibrate tends to do at a specific rate called object's natural or resonant frequency. So this was all about today's lecture. I hope you guys understand this lecture completely. And if you guys have any query or any question, you guys can ask me directly or comment in the comment section i will try to answer all of, all of the questions thank you so much